tongue in hand, yes. Damn it, another earthquake. You've gotta be kidding me. You were by the wall earlier, buddy. Die. I won't get anywhere by walling and self pity here. Yuka, I swear I'll protect you. Please wait for me. First things first, though, I need to go get, get Naomi. Girl in the red dress. Hey, hey, you wait! Leave Naomi alone. No, I can't get in. The door is locked. What the? I know I left this door unlocked. It feels like someone is on the other side and pushing against us to keep me from getting in. Naomi, are you in there? It's if that's you, open the door, please. There's no answer. Is it someone else? Fine, we'll go chase after the girl in the red. That's what you want. <laughs> Ghosty down. Ten thousand to go. Someone's cell phone is lying on the ground. Pick it up. Yes. Seiko's cell phone. Found in the hallway. Seems Seiko was writing a text message to me when she dropped it. This is Shinohara's, isn't it? Seiko seemed to have been in the middle of a text until when she dropped her phone. The text entry window is still open. While confirming the phone's owner, Saitoshi wound up inadvertently reading the whole thing. <clears throat> Shinohara. I'm sorry, Shinohara. I really didn't mean to. I don't think Naomi should see this. Not now, at any rate. Do I need to pull it out here, too? Two phones. We can call each other on the phone. Naomi. Satoshi, please don't leave me alone in here like that. Sorry, I was out looking for Yuka. Oh, okay, did that, that makes sense. Did you find her? Hello! No, the corridor that leads to where I saw her last went back to being a wall. I can't find any way of getting to the other building anymore. Another building. There's a whole other building? Yeah. It looks like the school Yuka, Morishige, and I were in is a different one than this one. We need to find out a way of traveling from one space to another. That would be ideal, yeah. Wait a minute. Why are you standing out here instead of waiting inside the infirmary? I was attacked in there earlier by some kind of black, shadowy mist. I was a little scared to be in there. I'm afraid I might attack. Afraid it might attack me again. You serious? I'm so really sorry to hear that. Then. Don't worry about it. But there's something in there for sure. I think we should keep our distance. No objections here. I want to go in and see. Because I like to know all the ways I can die. No? Safe? Alright.
Oh, you know, I need to probably go do... I probably don't need to go over here. I was gonna say I need to go use her now to get that, that, that Kitama bobbers. I need to, uh, because it will not, keep, or whatever the fuck it is. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Shouldn't have, shouldn't have taken another look at that. Just making everybody depressed. <clears throat> I need to go to that room that had the um, glowy light in it that I needed another person for. So let's stop and look at the exposed meats of Mayu, or whatever her name was. I know the do, but you do 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 do. Remember that spot? Oh, itchy nose. She knows the drill. She's done this before. Let us catch a light. Light. Now grab it. Hey, right, what do we get? A blood red key. Ooh. Finally get to go in the custodian shack. In fact, you seem totally in fate. Did you figure out what we need to do on your own or something? Actually, I had to do something similar before with Seiko. Did you? Same here, but with Yuka. Let's keep moving. We'll find her. I know we will. Yeah. Yes. I wonder what's going to be in there. Snorlax will be in there! And Shepet! Okay, let's see. Who turned out the lights? What the- what's going on? Why is it so cold? Uh, something really smells. And it's pitch black in here, can you find a light switch anywhere? Someone is messaging me. I'll try- uh, um, hmm. Found it! Yeah, thanks. Man, it does stink in here, and it's not just mold, is it? Probably not. Uh, that's odd. What is? Oh, nothing. It's like deja vu. I could swear I've seen this room before. Stains everywhere. Oh, wait. Eh. It's an old moldy tea leaves floating in the stagnant water. An old beat-up kettle. Every day through November 18th, 1975 is crossed off with a big X. At the cabinet, there's a notebook labeled Night Guard Logbook and a few crumpled up paper. Heaven Host Elementary School, confinement together and now taking taking applications. The sheets of paper contain what appears to be a seemingly endless list of names. The letter is worn, however, making it impossible to confirm exactly what's written. The video at camcorder lying on the top of the TV. Its cassette deck is empty. Its batteries all seem to have run out, however, as the LCD display isn't turning on. What is something this recent doing in a place like this old? Maybe it belonged to someone who brought it here, like us. Yeah, that does make sense. Unfortunately, there's no corridor to hook it up to the TV, and it's out of battery, so it doesn't look like we'll be able to get much use out of it. Oof. There's a magazine article here from a publication called Strange But True, Stories of the Occult. It's a follow-up to the previous report. Read it? Okay. Let me scratch my nose and get prepared to, like, just run through this. <clears throat> yes. Strange but true, stories of the cult, chasing down the hidden past of the cursed school building follow-up by Ko Kabiki. 
Let's talk a bit more about Yoshikazu Yanagihori, beloved son of Heavenly Host Elementary's principal Takimi, Takamine Yanagihori. The man was a born instructor, pure and simple. He took up the mantle as soon as he could and performed his duties with peerless pan, pan, panache. But then the illness struck, and little by little, his winning personality gave way to pure instinct. He was slowly losing all sense of identity. Although the cause of his illness was unknown, his effects were anything but. Simply put, the good teacher had begun reverting to a childlike state. He had been carrying an antique doll with him at all times, a memento from a long-forgotten festival, perhaps, given to him by his late mother. His behavior during class degraded quickly. More often than not, his lectures would cease before the period's end, and he'd begin wailing mournfully. Finally, several months prior to the kidnapping and murder incident, Yoshikazu reached a point where he could no longer communicate his thoughts. Although he could still understand others, he became virtually incapable of forming words without intense focus. Given all the evidence mounted against him, Yoshikazu Yadagahori was arrested on multiple counts of kidnapping, murder, and desecration of the dead. But due to his mental condition, he was never able to confess his involvement in these crimes, nor even probably discuss them with authorities. Everything hinged on the testimony of a sole survivor, one Sachiko Shinizaki, age 7. In search of the truth behind the less scientific afflictions this incident spurned, I, of course, chose to follow the trail of this mysterious little girl. Those who have seen the infamous newspaper photos accompanying this story may remember Sachiko best as the girl with a strikingly unusual red dress. It's hard not to feel sympathy for someone so young, forced to watch other children her age being tortured and killed one by one. And certainly, if it were to find Miss Shinazaki and secure an interview, there would be some real moral concerns about digging up such painful memories. But then again, she's been a full-grown and hopefully well-adjusted adult for over 10 years at this point. By now, she should be able to look back upon these horrific events with some objecti objectivity and give a more thorough account of what happened that day. I'm impressed, Shinozaki. You're far stronger than I thought. Totally fearless, in fact. I was scared out of my mind, and my brain is still struggling to make sense of all of this. Okay, but look, the ghost is gone. I guess we really managed to appease it. Are, are you alright? You should probably dry your tears and blow your nose, at least. Squeaky! Snort. Back. What the hell? Not on my shirt! Didn't I tell you before you shouldn't say, anything, say things like that? What are you, two? Ugh, that's really gross. Not good. She's not normally like this, Sh Shinazaki. Okay. Continuing. Is it Sunday? It's Sunday, right? I can't go this way. I can't bring myself- okay. Alright, I noticed what you mean, Ganyama. Why did she have to die like that? Watch it not actually be her. Well, at least I know the ways not to go. <sighs> you floaty thing. What do you got for me? Nothing? Okay. they open the room in the other area it'll be open now nope. <coughs> I haven't ate yet today so I don't have to decide if I want to keep fasting or if I want to make a pizza if I want to make a pizza I actually have to make a pizza I have to make the crust and I have to get the stuff ready Go to where the floor collapsed, but then got better. One step rooster, ten paces rat. Remember that for me. One step rooster, ten paces rat. What did it mean where the floor repaired itself? I guess here, maybe? Go to where the floor repaired itself. 
I have to remember this. Oh, here. Is this it? I'm gonna check along this wall because I'm already here. Where did the floor fix itself? I'm still at 10 paces. Oh shit, the ghost is back. Where did the floor repair itself? I don't remember. I can only think here. Maybe ten paces up from here. But I don't think so because uh, that bitch is gonna chase me. It's asking me to remember something that I am not gonna remember. I don't know where, I, where where to start on that one. Where did the floor repair itself? I want to continue to ask this until I remember where the floor repaired itself. Go to where the floor collapsed, but then got better. Uh, yes, this is still chapter four. Oh, I found it. I was thinking about the other episodes, like, well, that one I know collapsed. Shuffle. What the heck is this? Doesn't look like it would fit any door I know. Ah, I know what this is for. Sometimes my brain works. Sometimes it's questionable. Sometimes it's dead. Most times. Being undead, you know. Kind of all comes full circle there. Alright, here we go. Oh, come on. Yes. Huh? Look at me. Look at me and my smartness. Never give up. Never surrender. Only die. Ha <laughs> 
<laughs> Snorlax knows what I'm talking about. Only die. Oh dear. Wow. Get a load of this place. It's got showers and everything. It hurts. Make it stop. Oh god, my head. My nose. Shinazaki. Are you alright? Did you feel something again? Uh, another nosebleed. It's just her nose is fine and a blood vessel bursts in her brain or something. Here, Shinazaki, stuff some tissues up your nose to stop the bleeding. Let it bleed, man. Things I have some of my own, but since you got yours out already. Yeah, go ahead. The ghosts get to her, no. She's been a little off since before that. I think she's probably just reached her limit. She needs to rest. Good. I wonder if I can check back at you. Do you have more wrinkles than you remember? No matter how hard you turn that in, a water is coming out of the faucet. But crammed full of discarded underwear, all twisted up like wrung out dish rags. Oh, that's nice. The locker is empty. Hey, Kuya Arai. Sneeze. What does this say? No running by the pool. Okay, let's just drink this. Entire surface is covered in moss, needs to be have absorbed some of the water, puffing it up with a thick blackish green coat of ultra shiny slime. Cool, huh? Can't even see the other side of it with all the rain. Alright, here goes. Shinozaki, this clearly isn't working. Why don't I take the doll for a bit? They'll catch your death of cold out here. Go back inside. I can handle the search. You just wait for me in the locker room. And what's going to happen if a ghost shows up again, hmm? You think you'll be able to handle it? Don't worry about me. If anything happens, I'll call you. You can come to my rescue. All right, just don't do anything stupid. Thank you. You say something? No. Fuck you. I've got to try to lighten her load as much as possible. I don't think she can handle much more of this. Ooh, the tall ass trees. All right. What's up with this murky water? There's no telling what could be down there. All I know is I wouldn't be caught dead in this pool. Of course, I can't really swim, so... The sound that says pump room. The door is locked. Oh, hello. Looks like there's a key lodged in the crack between two dials. Try to dig it out? Yes. Found it near pool. The thin filmy rusty will break with a single use. Aha! Uh -huh. I've had enough. What's that? No, there's no way. Come on, give me a break here. Shinozaki is still in the locker room, right? Shinozaki! Damn it, she's not here. I guess that really was her then. What the hell is she thinking? Oh dear. Oh my. 
Move quicker, boy. What's wrong with me? What am I doing? I shouldn't even take my eyes off her. It's all my fault, goddammit. Yeah, stop talking. Countdown keeps going while you talk. He was rested. Okay, it broke. Autopop load. Slot behind her. Oh, shit. Great, they're gonna put me in the dark, too. Did something get stuck in the drain? Oh, well. Oh, I hope it's not her. I'd be so pissed if it's her. Oh, joy. Oh. No, Shinazaki. That's Shinazaki. Why? Why did she, this have to happen? God, no, no, Shinazaki. Okay, but that's not what I do then.